establishing winter triticale so you can get high yields of high quality forage. The key to high yields of very high quality winter triticale forage is in establishing the crop. Winter triticale is a winter forage that is rapidly spreading across the country as farmers realize the quality forage produced. You can get all the soil yield improving benefits of cover crops, yet harvest some of the highest digestible forage we can grow in the U.S. We'll cover seed variety and selection, seed treatment, planting date, fall fertilization, and planting techniques. Most farmers are switching to winter triticale, which has had many years of breeding for forage quality. Winter rye has not. Winter rye is notorious for lodging if the nitrogen gets a little high. Triticale will continue to stand even under high nitrogen rates. New triticale varieties are almost as early as rye if planted on time. In replicated trials, triticale outyields rye for forage by 35%. Triticale loses quality slower than does rye or wheat at optimum flag leaf stage of harvest. Just like with corn, there are good varieties and poor ones. The good ones will pay as we have seen in our 18 years of variety testing. The cheap triticale seed in this photo was contaminated with rye. The rye was ready to harvest at the expense of a severe yield penalty on the immature triticale. If we waited for the triticale, we would have had high quality forage with rye straw in it. A worse problem is cheap seed without proven germination. This is like buying a steer to breed your cows. Seed treatments are often overlooked in an effort to save money. With on-time planting, the seed treatments yielded 15% more forage than untreated seed. With late plantings, seed treatments yielded 28% more spring forage than untreated seed. New York Farm Viability funded research in New York found planting date has a huge effect on all aspects of winter forage. Planting the first week in September, the second week in September, the third week in September, the fourth week in September, or the first week in October impacts the results. Early planting protected the ground better. Early planting did not need a herbicide. Winter forage is an aggressive smother crop. Early planting had a significant impact on capturing and retaining nutrients that would have been lost over winter. Early planting gives you earlier maturing and higher spring yields. Winter triticale for forage should be in the ground 10 days to 2 weeks before you plant winter wheat grain. Our most recent trial in New York planting 10 days to 2 weeks before wheat gave a 25% yield increase over late planting. To achieve on-time planting 10 days to 2 weeks before wheat often necessitates a shorter season corn silage. A 15-day reduction in corn maturity will on average, Cornell data, reduce yield by 1.03 tons of dry matter per acre or about 3,780 pounds of milk per acre lost. In return, you get 2 to 4 tons of highly digestible winter triticale, which is 8,000 to 16,000 pounds of milk gain per acre. Our multi-year research clearly shows that planting date and the fall biomass production that results are drivers of nutrient recapture and storage, erosion protection, drying the soil in the spring, earlier spring harvest, and potential high yields. That biomass is driven by the planting date and the growing degree days accumulated. As the biomass goes up from earlier planting, the amount of free nitrogen captured and safely stored over the winter goes up. Our multi-year trial found 30 to $60 per acre of saved nitrogen. This is often enough to completely pay for the triticale seed. By having manure applications immediately incorporating them to supply the nitrogen before planting winter triticale, it increases the fall growth and directly gives higher yields the next spring. In this trial, we had 14% higher yield by adding manure nitrogen at planting time for the early planting date and 33% higher spring yields when we added manure at planting time for the later planting date. Basic management is critical for top yields. You wouldn't broadcast and disc in corn. Don't take that shortcut with winter triticale. 
This farm has a very uneven stand and poor survival and yield by broadcasting and harrowing in it. Triticale responds to proper planting techniques. Early in our research we heard stories of winter triticale not being winter hardy. The problem turned out to be a hardware issue. The loose nut at the steering wheel of the tractor did not put the seed in deep enough. It needs to be one to one and a quarter inches deep and roll. With shallower planting or broadcasting and disking in, the following spring, especially with late poorly planted stands, the freezing and thawing pushes the plants up so the roots dry and the plant cannot grow. We grow winter triticale up to the Canadian border of New York with no problems as long as it's planted correctly. Uniformity of stand is critical in corn and in small grains. In this stand, it has uneven and clumpy seed drop. This is because most drills have corrugated seed tubes that catch and hold seed as you go over a bump. There are sleeve tubes you can purchase that prevent this from happening. The contact information is one site where you can purchase sleeved drilled tubes. Converting our old drill to sleeve tubes gave us uniform stands that was superior to even a brand new drill with corrugated tubes. These key steps are from 18 years of research and making mistakes so you don't have to. Follow these recommendations and you can have high yields of high quality winter triticale. For further information on growing and harvesting winter forage, go to our website and read our archived newsletters.